a rather chunky 15,000 milliamp hour power bank by Oki. And this was sent in by Phil, who was rudely awoken one night by the, well, the smell of this basically going out in smoke. It's all melted here. So he sent it to me for analysis so we could take a look inside it. So let's uh, see if we can open this. I get the feeling this may be well, well, sealed shut. So I don't know how easy it's going to be to open. Hold on, I'm just going to do a quick check first. Explosion containment pie dish. It fits. Excellent. We're safe. Right, there's no... I'm not going to be subtle about this. I really just want this open, so I'm not uh, planning on putting it back together again afterwards. So let's uh, see if we can find how it opens without bursting into flames in the process. This is looking promising. Okay. Was looking promising. It will keep looking promising. It's one of those ones that's so tightly clipped together. I think it is just clipped. I don't think it's glued. No, actually, I take that back. I think it is sealed shut. Oh, that wasn't too bad. What's got... Oh, blame me, that is absolutely melted down. That looks like a little switching converter that is completely nooked. Righty-ho. So let's try and knock... Oh, there's no need to knock. It just pops out. Excellent. Uh, one moment, I'm just going to uh, disconnect this. Actually, you know, I'll just cut it, because that's the best bet, just to make it safe quickly without interrupting the magic of dismantling. There we go. And since now some of you are wondering, does it still have a charge in it? Let's uh, strip it a little bit and see if there's any voltage left in that. I'm having to think, yeah, because I don't normally use this meter, I'm having to actually think where I'm turning the little knob to on it. Uh, let's stick that across, make sure it is not set to amps, that would be quite dramatic. 2.8 volts, it's still safe, it, that's good. It's got a, it's not got a huge charge and it's at the bottom of it, so I keep, see, I keep pressing the mode button because I keep thinking that's the off button. I'm so used to doing that in the other meter. Let's take the circuit board out and have a little gander at what's inside it stinks. It really does. Any time I've moved that bag, the aroma of burning electronics has permeated the house. To the point I was wondering, is something else going up? I wonder what caused this. Ooh. The inductor has been passing current continually. The inductor is physically burnt right off the circuit board. It's black. I'm guessing then that the little chip at the other side, which uh, I would say, let's see what the number is, but the number is big skid mark. That's what the number is. It's all really burnt. Uh, I guess that is a little boost converter. Uh, there's one in this side as well, a little resistor patched across there too. Let's get in close and take a closer look at this because that's what you want. That's better. So yeah, there is the... Armageddon that has occurred here. It's really, uh, it's really black and crispy. It's really burnt into the circuit board. And I wonder if that's just smoke that's been coming off that's gone up to here, or if the track's been passing a lot of current. I think they've probably been passing a lot of current. This looks like, uh, is this a DW01? I would have thought it might have intervened. It may have actually tried to do that. Uh, it's not a DW1. It might be a clone of a DW1. I think it says 326G. Very small lettering here. 0105? I'm not sure about that. It's got, I thought it was a DW1 because it's the other side from what looked like a pair of MOSFETs. Um, and they have nothing elig legible on them. They've got small text, actually, but uh, it's very hard to read, partly because everything seems to be sooty in here. Mmm, that is tiny text on those. Sorry about the uh, delay as I try to read that. No, they are tiny. I th think it's GA5... G31. I'd, I'd need a microscope to read that. They are tiny. That, yeah, that's a high magnification lens as well. Now, this uh, says it's the... Oh, you can actually see the sort of residue inside here. I'm surprised this isn't sootier. It's actually come off very well, this pack, which is actually 
four packs wired in parallel, I'm guessing. With a charge in it, so I'll have to be careful with this. Uh, let, let's start peeling the tape off in this, just and take a wee look. Oh, sorry, I'm going way off shot again. I don't know how much of that I just missed. If I, I've missed quite a lot, I'm going to skip that. This is the problem of uh, zooming in and just getting so distracted by what I'm working on. Okay, if there's a huge uh, gap in there that uh, I wasn't in much in shot, I shall skip over that in the video. Uh, this just has all these tagged together in parallel. That's interesting. Interesting way of joining them with this foam there, sort of insulation. And this has survived. That's good. The circuit board has not survived. I'd like to know what that chip was. You know, I'm saying that. I'm looking at the other side now. Oh no, I wonder which is the... I see this other inductor here. Could this... This is the more intelligent one, so this has uh, probably got a smarter chip. Let's see if we can get a number off that. Much bigger numbers. CHY100D. CHY100D for that. I wonder if it's tied into this inductor. Uh, the main thing is that it looks like it's possibly just been a sort of low current output that's failed. Does this thing, is it marked as to what each bit is? It is marked, but it's not really super clear. It just says out one and out two. Uh, lightly embossed in the plastic and the texture of it. Yeah. This is, well, it's beyond recovery. It's, it seems to just be that this inductor and uh, boost circuit for that output there has fried. That's a bit disturbing. I wonder if this, uh, oh, is that another inductor? There must be a circuit. I'm guessing it's going to boost the, uh, to, I wonder if it's able to fast charge by getting a higher voltage sent. I'm not really sure. I'd have to look up the spec of this particular unit. It does say... The date in it is 2015. 8-5-2015 for manufacture. Yeah. Not really a lot to see other than the, the big burnt skid mark. That's what's uh, taken that pack out. It just shows that even the uh, better quality ones can have a little meltdown moment. Kind of intriguing. Yeah, interesting.